Hello everybody, this is Todd Middle Initial C. Walker. Yes, that's right, it's me. And I have a podcast on acoustic guitars, acoustic music, singer-songwriters. It's called the Wispy Mop Music Acoustic Radio Podcast Series. There's my logo right there. You may have listened to it. If not, you can find it on iTunes or Apple Podcasts. Again, it's the Wispy Mop Music Acoustic Radio Podcast Series. But right now, we're going to look at this really cool ovation applause line guitar. Really cool color. This is the Celeste color. They have one in Lagoon, which is a darker blue. They have one in Lipstick, which is more of a rose color. And they have one in Peach. It comes in two body styles. This is the sloped shoulder. It also comes in an auditorium style and with a cutaway. And the auditorium, at least, you can get it with a pickup. It's $329 with the pickup, $299 without. It's got a European spruce, solid spruce top. It's got oven call, laminated oven call back and sides. And if you notice, it's traditional in the style of the way it's made. It's not the lyric chord rounded back and side that Ovation is known for. This is a nice departure. I always found that Ovation guitars, although they were comfortable to sit and play, when you stood up with a, a strap, they would do this. So you'd end up playing it. They even put that um, piece of leather or they made the back rough so it wouldn't do that as much but it, it, it was a pain in the butt excuse the terminology it has european maple neck oven call fretboard and bridge what i don't like about the bridge is it's the string pass through that ovation does loudon guitars does it breed love does it i like bridge pins better that's just my my thing the one thing I did not like about the guitar right out of the box is it came with cheap tuners. They looked fantastic, brushed chrome, really, really pretty. They were really tight. They weren't smooth. Did they keep the guitar in tune? Yes, they did. But since I play guitar a lot and I changed my tunings around, I didn't want to mess with them. So I spent an extra $125 or so to put a really nice high ratio tuner on the guitar. The other thing that it needs to have is it needs to be set up for my playing style. Many guitars, even really high-end guitars, they just set it in kind of a general way to send it to you. We all play differently, so we need to take it to our luthier if we don't do the work ourselves and have the guitar set up. This particular one plays really good down in the first registers. But when you move up the neck, the intonation's off, so you need to have that fixed. Let's see, what else? It's a neat guitar for $299. I've played some $500, $500 guitars, which are much worse and almost unplayable. This one, the construction quality, it's actually impeccable inside and out. Probably made on a CNC machine overseas, but some of the overseas guitars now are just fantastic. This is one of them. Would this be a guitar, my go-to gigging guitar? Not necessarily, but if the weather were questionable or I was going to an open mic where things might get bumped around a little bit, I wouldn't want to take my $4,000 guitar. This cool looking thing with the bright top might be just the ticket. It would also be a good guitar to take when you travel. It's not travel size, but if it got broken, damaged, for $299, you can buy another one. And that price is good in December 2023, which it is right now. So I think this is actually a pretty cool guitar. I really do. What do you think? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.